Let's look at a way to create different instrument layers using Halion Sonic SE3. When we look at Halion Sonic SE3, it is a 16 part multi timbral instrument, meaning we have 16 different sounds loaded on each MIDI channel. In our project, we will have eight different sounds that we want to layer. So let's start with maybe a piano voice from Deverve. And if we wanted to navigate down, we could listen to a Rhodes patch and maybe organ. And then to a synthesizer. Choir. Strings. Bell. And let's say even a timpani. So if we wanted to play and combine all these sounds together, we could assign these, all of these tracks into a folder and then record enable the folder and we could layer these particular sounds. Now, if I wanted to record that result of all those sounds playing together, I could place it into record and we would have to record on the eight different channels and we may not want to do that because if we wanted to edit one particular part we would have to edit all eight so one of the methods that we could use is to layer the sounds within Halion Sonic SE3 so I'm going to select our piano sound and this is on MIDI channel 1 we will click on the MIDI tab and what I want to do is for each of the sounds, we're going to assign these to a common MIDI channel of MIDI channel one. So we'll just come here, adjust accordingly. And as we do this, we'll be able to select one track and the one track will send the MIDI data to all of the different sounds. So as we play now, just have one track selected and we could have all eight sounds layered together. We may want to tweak this sound. So we could come over here and one of the things we could do is maybe if I play a chord, I don't want the timpani to play a chord. So we could actually come here and restrict the polyphony from unlimited to one voice of polyphony just on our timpani. And if we want to click on our MIDI tab, let's go ahead and solo our different instruments. So we have our piano and let's say we have a Rhodes. And if I wanted this Rhodes to only come in at perhaps a particular velocity level, I could click here on the velocity and we could say at a velocity higher than and we'll just move this line over here. So at low velocities, I could just hear the piano itself. If I hit it with a higher velocity, then the roads can be layered in. So soft velocity, higher velocity, now the roads will be layered in. When we go back to our MIDI settings, let's say we will now listen to our organ patch. Let's say I wanted to transpose that organ up an octave. And if we wanted to also just make a particular sound louder or softer, we could mix those within the context as well. So if I wanted less piano, more roads, we could just kind of blend these different sources in. If now we wanted to bring in our synthesizer sound, and let's say I wanted this synthesizer to blend in at two octaves higher. And I will go to my mix and we'll bring the synthesizer voice down. And 
now let's go back to our MIDI tab and we'll listen to our choir. And let's say we wanted to do a split between our choir and our strings. So if we play them together. But first I will take my choir and let's knock it up an octave. So if I go to the key range, here we can set our splits. So I can say, I only want the choir to start playing from these notes up and below those particular notes, I want to have the strings play. And we could choose to have these overlap if we wanted to. But now as we would play, and we could just set our split point. So now they'll both be sounding, now just strings, and as we go up, we could have the choir sound. Let's take our bell, and I wanna knock the bell, let's say, up an octave. So we'll just come right here. And let's go ahead and listen to all of our different sounds that have been layered together. But let's say I want to do something even a little more interesting. I want to take the bell sound and add an effect. So I will come over here. Let's say we have a delay in effect send two. I will now come over to the mixer and we go to effect send two, and let's just add a little bit of delay just on the bell sound. So at this point, even though everything is going out on one particular channel, we may want to actually have these go to separate independent channels in our mix console. So even though these are all layered and they're all being sent to the same MIDI channel, at this point we'll go to our mix output and we can say, I want the roads to go out of output two. And we'll notice that as we do this, the mix console is automatically updated to reflect our different changes. And now we will just do this for each of the voices. And within Howley and Sonic SE, we have 16 stereo outputs. So at this point, as we play, each voice will now have its own output into the VST mixer. If I really like this particular layered sound and wanted to save it as a preset, I could click right here and we could save this as a multi-program. So we'll just call this layer two and hit okay. And at this point, if we wanted to open up our different presets, we could just come right there and all of our stacked instrument sounds could be quickly recalled. So as you can see, using the different capabilities of being able to mix, add different effects, and have MIDI control for velocity or splits, and being able to change octaves on individual voices, allow you to create a very thick and powerful sound using one instrument on one single track with Howie and Sonic SE3. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel.